Hello, my name is Raven. Welcome to my Unreal Development Kit Getting Started tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be teaching you some of the basics to using the Unreal Development Kit. And we'll also be creating a simple scene. We'll run around and add a few scenic objects to. Alright, so first thing you'll notice is you have four viewports. You have your 3D viewport, your top, side, and front viewport. You can move about in the 3D viewport by holding down the right mouse button and using WSAD or the arrow keys to move around and you can use the mouse to look you can click and hold the left mouse button drag forwards backwards left right to move around as well and any of the other viewports the top side and front viewports you can click and hold the right mouse button and drag the mouse around and you can move the camera about Alright, before we get started, first thing you'll see when you start Unreal for the first time is obviously you'll see this, the simple basic layout. This little red box here is called the Build Brush. It's a 3D representation of what your CSG would look like if you were to add or subtract it. You can hear CSG add, you can add it. You can add a brush, or you can remove the brush. Up here, you have your select tool, your translate tool, your rotate tool, your scale tool, and your non-uniform scaling. Another thing uh, introduced in Unreal 3 was if you go to File, New, you have two types of geometry style, additive and subtractive. By default, Unreal uses additive. However, if you use subtractive, it fills the whole world. And you can use... Hold on, suck the brush. You can subtract and create your level by using CSG subtract. There we go, we have a nice little room. Um, we'll be working in the additive. Let's go ahead and create a new scene real quick. Note all. Alright. Right click the cube for the brush builder. 1024 by 16. Click CSG add. Alright, now we have a nice little build point, uh, sorry, <laughs> a nice little ground brush to mess around with. So right click somewhere on there, go to add actor, add a light, drag the light up a little bit, select the non-uniform scaling, and scale the light radius up some. Alright, right click on the ground brush again, add player start, and you can just put it anywhere you want. Go to tools, go to lighting, turn use light mass off, and then build it. The reason I'm I'm not going to build with light mass because it takes a while and YouTube only allows for ten minutes. Uh normally you would build all, but we don't need AI paths because there are no AI, it just us. Click play from here. Now you can see we have a nice little test area we can run around in. Alright. Let's go on ahead and let's see. Alright, next thing I'll show is how to change the material. for the brush. So go to View, Content Browser. Sorry. <laughs> View, Browser, Windows, Content Browser. Then go to Cool Materials and just select wherever you want. I'm going to get this uh, gray tile. Just click and drag and drop it over. And there we have it. We can easily change our materials that way. Another thing you can do is you can click Control hold and you can select multiple sides. You can select a new material, right click on the brush, and you can hit apply material and you can change well whatever sides you selected. Let's uh before we build again and test again, let's add a few static meshes. So hit all assets, type uh go to your tags, 
select uh, decoration scroll down some and just find a few decorations in here and just drag them onto the scene Let's see some other stuff let's see it's got a building meshes Alright, now let's uh, rebuild our lighting tools. Uh, sorry, build lighting. I'm going to check light mass. And play again. And there we go, we have a few little objects in scene we can mess around with. Alright, and that is the basics for using the Unreal Development Kit. Uh, thank you.